Welcome back, Elon gang. So, uh, Elon does have a chance of getting some type of bullish sign. However, it does look like the final descent has started. So, basically what I just said kind of contradicts itself. But I will explain my reasoning as for why. So, first off, bearish stuff is basically... It, I mean, there's nothing here, at least even on the daily time frame, to really be convincing of why we should start turning bullish, at least here of yet. Um, price action-wise and like candle-wise, nothing really saying that, hey, we should start turning back on up. Even just with like yesterday's candle alone, we had a wick towards the upside and then downside, we had like no wick whatsoever. And right now we're kind of just moving sideways, not really doing anything. But if we do go over to here and look at the RSI. So if we look at the RSI dating back to where my cursor is on Tuesday, July 11th, 2023. And we're to compare to where we are right now, August 13th, August 14th. What we can see is on that RSI, there is an equal low taking place just like that as you can see so uh, within the next like day or two if we're able to go a bit lower in price and have that RSI go lower without the price action breaking the low that we set on July 11th then that is going to be your bullish sign that you do have divergence or bullish divergence, but that doesn't mean fully just trade bullish divergence because that can easily be broken and chop you up really freaking quickly. So um, we'd start to need to see some type of reaction in price in saying, hey, that we can validate that uh, divergence. Now going over into the four hour time frame, once again, nothing really here yet. Um, being like, hey, we're going up. And then even on the hourly, nothing here um, making me think about that. Now, going back into the four hour, um, where could we be anticipating to? We could come all the way back down into our white box over here, which is a range between about 1391 and 1343. Um, if you do end up going down to this box, what we would like to see this 1390 hold because that is a like prior resistance if I'm not mistaken prior resistance slash support if we were to zoom out yeah you can kind of see it it's this upper red line so even on the candles support resistance right there clearly this was resistance then here was support slash resistance, resistance, then support was over here. And then the lower red line you do have at 1386, that was also a support as well. So then flash forwarding to where we currently are at, if I can get there, which you can see we did find that as support as well. We currently are finding it as resistance but the following line is at 1390, so which is that lower line. Um, so aside from that, that's all I really have to say right now. I would be healthily cautious, um, and I'd say really look for a reaction at 1390. 14 flat would be the psychological level too, so you could keep that in mind. Um, otherwise, pushing towards the upside level that you need to break is going to be 1627, so... Other than that, none of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions. And you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.